Now, one thing that you may be wondering is, why in the world would anyone care about solving a whole bunch of linear equations at once? This seems like a math thing that mathematicians came up with just to torture their students. Actually, that is false. It's an extremely useful thing, especially in the worlds of economics and sociology and psychology, where you're trying to understand a lot of different things that are happening sort of simultaneously, and especially in economics. Any kind of monetary things where you're trying to maximize profits or minimize uh, costs and all this kind of stuff. In fact, you have a lot of things going on, a lot of different variables, and you want them all to be sort of satisfied at once. So here's a very, very simple illustration of that, uh, and again, in the, in the um, theme of money. So suppose we have a whole bunch of money to invest. Let's say we have $3,000, and we're investing it. And we're going to invest it in two types of things. We're going to invest them in stocks because that's aggressive and we should make a lot of money and so forth. But we're going to hedge our bet and also invest a little bit in bond funds because, of course, if stocks don't do too well, sometimes the bond funds do a little bit better. So anyway, we'll try to hedge our bets and see the best we can do. And now let's see if we can sort of analyze our investment strategy and situation. So in particular, let's suppose that we do the following. Suppose that we invest $3,000. So in fact, I'll just write it here. We invest $3,000 into these two things, either in stocks or bonds. Okay. Now, the annual rate of return for the stocks is 4.5%. Okay, that's not bad. Not great, but not bad. And the um, annual rate of return for the bonds turns out to be 8%. So it looks like a lot, lot better. And it turns out that after a year, we end up with an um, a interest payment total of $177. What I want to know is, how much money did we invest in the bond, the bond fund? Okay. So let's now think about this. Well, I don't know how many stocks there are. I don't know how many bonds there are. So let me actually write those as unknowns. So I could say that S equals the amount in stocks and let's let B equal the amount in bonds. And those are unknown quantities right now but my hope is that I'll be able to figure out uh, what B is. I'm asked to find out how many bonds there are. So I need to write down all the things I know about S and B. Well, it turns out I know a couple things. First of all, what's their total? Well, their total is our entire investment, which was $3,000. So I know that S plus B equals 3000 What else do I know? Well, I know how much interest I got after a year. And how was the interest distributed? Well, I know that I got 4.5% of S, and I got 8% of B, and that total was 177. So I could write it this way, 0 0.045 times S plus 0 0.08 times B equals 177. Well, notice I have two equations in two unknowns. So I should be able to solve this for B. So if I want to solve it for B, the first thing I should do is take this equation and figure out what S is in terms of B to get rid of the S here and make it a B. So let's take this thing. I'm going to use the um, substitution method here and just solve this for S. If I do that, what I see is I see that S equals 3,000 minus B. And now what I can do is take that value for S and insert it right here. And that would get rid of the S, and I would just have Bs. So in fact, what would I see? I would see 0 0.045 times S, which is now 3,000 minus B, plus 0.08B, and that equals 177. Now if I distribute this, what is 3,000 times 0 0.045? Well, that's 130, 5. And then here I have minus 0.045b plus 0.08b, and that equals 177. So if I bring this um, 135 to this side, I would see uh, 42. And if I take 0.08b and subtract off uh, 0.045b, I see I have 0.035b. And so therefore, b would be just 42 divided by 0.035. And what does that equal? That equals $1,200. So that means there are $1,200 that we put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Twelve hundred dollars we invested in the bond fund. And if someone asked us how much we invested in the, in the stock fund, you can figure that out because it would be 
$3,000 minus the $12,000. But that's not what was asked. We just wanted to know how much we put in bonds, and the answer is $1,200. Notice that the way I did that was actually to set up two equations in two unknowns. They're both linear, and then I solved it, in this case, using the substitution method. So actually, these things can be useful. Surprise!